Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Masterbox. It's a kit which comes in one thirty second scale, quite an unusual choice for a figurine. Nevertheless we have here another warrior from Gerico Persian War series, Hoplite and it's kit number 2. You can see the warrior on the nice box art and kit number is MB32012. We have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as well which you'll see in this video review and we are going to check it together. So first of all box size is standard for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand as I said box art is really good here. On the sides you'll find some safety notes in five languages as you can see and then here on the rear side you can see the parts map, colors chart and assembly manual which is combined into a marking guide and of course the short history note as well as this suggestion for a diorama if you are ready ready to get five kits in total and assemble them together. Uh, note that there are none of them is including the diorama base, so still you have to also to build the diorama base, but it looks like an impressive project to assemble in a 130 second scale. So this is a side opening box, let's open it. It should be quite easy because we have only one sprue, it's a single figure set, so that's why we have it here. As you can see it's packed into a resealable plastic bag, so let's open it. And then we will zoom in as much as we can in order to see what we actually get here. So let's jump closer. So first of all you can see here are facial features. Note that the face mask is molded separately. You have to install it onto the face. And this is quite interesting design because it will help you to get a bit more realistic appearance of this guy. And you can see with your own eyes that the size of this head is not that huge but still it looks quite impressive. Especially considering the fact that we are getting it in a standard plastic kit. Note also the torso pre the promoted armor. Here we have also hands which are pre-shaped so you won't be able to change their position much. We have one piece spear. Next we continue with the legs here. Also we have the shield which is plain and I think it was the same on the box art. So for the shield the most tricky part will be to draw the various uh, pictures here because now usually it was decorated and you saw it on the box art just to remind you here is what you have to do. So a lot of fun stuff to do and of course we do not have any decals here so that's why it might be a good thing to practice a bit before painting something here. Note also the uh, dagger here and also some sections of the armor which will have to be combined in somewhat convincing way because we do not have any guiding elements and obviously if you are combining these separate sections there should be a smooth connection. Of course we do not have any guiding elements here so that's why you have to pay attention while joining the body parts here and at least this will require dry fitment and maybe proper uh, fixing with the CA glue so that you get the smooth connections. Nevertheless, the whole idea looks really interesting. I think this is quite an unusual choice of the Jenner for this scale. And this kit should be already available in Modelimax web store. Of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and maybe share it with your friends so that they will see this nice figure. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.